hello hello everybody welcome back to pink crafty world today i have um here a project that i told you that i'm going to be making and it's uh, uh some of you requested uh that you guys gonna see how i did create these uh, boxes that i did create to put um to put the pokey tools that i did make so i'm going to share with you guys how i did come up with the box okay we're gonna cut it i i have it here and we're gonna cut this piece of paper and you guys gonna pay attention to you know the paper if you have a paper that has some design that it's one direction pay attention to that in my case i have that here with this paper so i have to make sure that this is going to be my six inch side okay because it's going to be six inch by nine long okay so i'm going to cut it here at six inch by nine okay and we're gonna trim here, okay? And this is what we are going to do. I'm just gonna remove this from here now. And I'm gonna use this one because I don't know, I like I like that this one better. From my six inch side, because we have it here, you guys see? We have it here, okay? You actually can make this paper five and a half. You, you don't have to make the paper six inches. And the reason is because you have one inch, inch from here to here. You can cut um, here five inches and a half, but uh, because when you fold, you're gonna see that you have uh, one of these sides, it's gonna be one inch, which is not necessary but if you want your box to be a sterry, um, I will leave it with the flap as one inch. So that's what I did. And I'm just going to do it um, like, like I did it from the beginning, okay? So <clears throat> from the six inch side, we're going to score our paper at one inch, okay? at two and a half inch at three and a half inches at five inch and because my um you know my my um the score it's a little bit smaller this is what i do i just kind of complete uh, what i was doing here and then i will come down here and then i will and that's it see you guys see the scoring lines <clears throat> i think my two and a half i need to score it again and press it really hard that I did it correctly yeah <clears throat> two and a half two and a half I... okay so the way that you don't break the paper like I just did I break the paper a little bit but it's okay and then <clears throat> at the uh, nine inch side which is this okay you're gonna turn your paper and we're gonna score at one inch and then you're gonna turn the paper and you're gonna score again at one inch okay so and then I don't know if um, it will do any justice but you will have all your scoring lines. So now I'm going to fold and I'm going to um, uh, burnish 
all my folding lines and that's what you need to do okay just burnish all your lines and ready burnishing Okay, and then we're going to do the one in the bottom and the one on top, okay? Okay, so now we have all our lines completely burnished. Now we're going to grab our scissors, okay? <clears throat> and we're going to cut the uh, tabs here. Okay, so we are going to cut from here to the first line here, okay? So we're gonna cut right to there and we're gonna make a notch, okay? And again, the same thing here, from here to here, okay? And we're gonna make a little notch from here to here and we're gonna make a little notch and again from here to here and we're gonna make a little notch there okay we're gonna turn again and we're gonna do exactly the same thing from here to here from here to here Wait a minute. There we go. <clears throat> now is from here to here, and we're going to cut a little bit, and then here, from here, and we're just going to cut. A tiny bit okay <clears throat> and now um, this is what I was explaining when you're gonna form your box you guys see this piece will come completely over this one see but it's okay because this will make your box to feel sturdy you can also make this piece or either this one whatever of these two ends half an inch and you know it will come just a little bit to here but i like it you know that it makes my box to feel a little bit sturdy so i just um leave it as you know one inch so and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this piece here and this piece here you can either get rid of this one or this one. One of the two, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever, which, whichever you choose, it's going to give you the same results. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, see? Because when we form, you just need four pieces of this. So that's why we get rid of one. Okay? So now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my adhesive right in there. And you can use your hot glue if you wanted to. You can use wet glue. You can use double-sided tape. And I'm going to be using uh, red, uh, red, double, red line uh, double-sided tape for this. And I'm going to put another piece over here ready right in there there we go okay and again I'm just going to make sure that the tape is very in there 
And now I'm going to remove this top piece and of course um, this top piece and now I am going to see now I'm going to close the bottom part and the same thing you can use um, double sided tape I'm just going to grab tiny bit of double-sided tape just to put a little bit in here um it's just my preference you don't have to do that but i like to do this and again like i mentioned it's just me my preference so <clears throat> but i do it just to make sure you know, nothing will comes off already now. All right. And I just will put this right in there. Okay. Okay. And now I will put more of these um, double-sided tape on the top part, which is here. It's right there. Let me grab another piece. Whoops, now I, I can, oh, here it is. I can find the end, <laughs> sorry, already. And maybe right in here. Let me already. So I'm going to remove now the um, red line that covers the double sided tape. All right, there we go. So now I will put that there and I will put more on the top one. Okay, so put one in there and the other one right here. And again, all right, and I will bring this right in there, and you guys see, and then I will put something long enough, you know, and I will press it down. To make sure everything is sealed correctly and that's how you have your box then here um, I can put I have this velcro these pieces of velcro which I use uh, to close my uh, box with this velcro and <clears throat> I will Put it right there and right in there and that's how my box will open and close and then um, if you wanted to embellish it I will suggest um, I have like um, these um, rosettes here any type of rosettes that you have in your 
stash. It will be cute. So, yeah, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use this pink one that is more solid. And for this, I do use wet glue or hot glue. Once it's time to, you know, uh, glue things down. Because it will last longer. And I do something simple and cute. I will put that there. And... Let me see what else. I can find some stickers or a piece of ephemera or a piece of cardstock. So <clears throat> I have some cardstock here that I did grab from um, Tuesday morning. So I think I'm going to use um, some of that. Uh, let me see which one, which one. This cute little rose. And this cute heart. Okay. So I'm going to put this cute heart here. And I'm going to grab some foam dots. I'm going to <clears throat> adhere that to my chipboard with some of the foam dots, uh, no, rectangle ones from Dollar Tree. I'm going to put that there to give it some dimension. And I'm just going to glue that one. I wanted to have a hot glue here, but it's taking forever. But I think it's, the adhesive is pretty good. So I'm just going to put it like that in there. Okay. And then if you wanted to add like um, some flowers, um, of course, you can do that if you wanted to. Um, I think this is too big, but we can add um, some flowers. Why not? So I have here um, a little flower in color dark pink and then this light pink and I'm going to adhere it here and that's how um, I do my boxes for my pokey tool. Um, so I know um, some of you guys did. Oh, yes, Maria, do the tutorial. Uh, I would like to see a tutorial on how you create them. This is how it's very easy, very easy box. And it's very sturdy box. And, you know, you decorate it and look how cute um, it looks. It looks very cute. Of course, you can do more. You can do less. If you have a die that can create a window, you can do that. You can... Um, open a window and put an acetate piece there that the person can see through. It's a step to you what you wanted to do with once it's done. Um, but it's, this is how I create mine. And I think it looks very simple, easy to create, and it will fit uh, not only pocket tools. You can put maybe pencils in here and other type of goodies. Uh, for your crafty friends. So I hope that you like and you know, I was uh, clear enough for you to understand my tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And thank you so much for watching. And uh, I but I'm sure if you follow the, uh, the, uh, the steps, uh, you will be making something as beautiful as this box so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you very very soon in another tutorial or haul in this channel thank you so much <laughs> bye bye now